for an update closer to the chaos let's go now to Zeb Smathers he's the mayor of Canton North Carolina Zeb we really appreciate you taking some time out of your day to talk to us today can you give us a little bit of insight into how your town Canton is going at the moment well I echo the sentiment of uh, the mayor of Ashton she's absolutely correct uh, this is apocalyptic not just for Canton but the entire region uh, Canton three years ago suffered a uh, mass destruction for a tropical storm, and here we are again. But this time we're watching so many of our neighbors, friends, and families from other parts of the western part of North Carolina uh, continuously suffer uh, under the destruction left by this hurricane. Uh, right now, it's uh, we're focusing on stabilizing societal needs, water, power, food, and communication. Communication has proved to be the biggest problem that we're facing uh, since zero hour. Uh, we have been suffering from a crippling loss of cell communication. Uh, even today, you know, I'm receiving emails from people across the U.S. who have family, not just in Canton, uh, but in Asheville and other places, because of the inability to place a simple phone call. Uh, that is not acceptable. Uh, you know, again, we're seeing the best out of our citizens and our emergency management, you know, working together. Um, and we expect that from our companies, too, and mm. the cell phone companies have failed us uh, and everything from the storm to recovery, getting supplies to people, uh, it's been crippled uh, by the inability for our cell phone and our cell phone communication uh, to be stable. So despite having a lack of communications with people in the town, what are you noticing that people are in need of most at the moment and what kind of resources are available to them? Well, I think what, you, what they need is first water uh, and electricity. Uh, we are making great steps here in Canton and other places across. Um, we're having so many help. I mean, as, as we all know, in times of need, uh, you get help not just from across your state and backyard, but across the country and even the world. Uh, there's a shared humanity uh, when these disasters hit. So we are seeing so many people helping us get electricity back, water back, you know, because, again, you have to stabilize that so you can work on recovery. Mm -hmm. And so you're seeing a lot of people come together uh, and even the basic th things, from, from prayer to lending a helping hand, uh, you're seeing it on the ground here in North Carolina. You mentioned that Canton suffered, suffered from a tropical depression a few years ago. How did the infrastructure recover from that storm, and did it make it more vulnerable to the flooding this time round? Well, we learned a lot of lessons and a lot of improvements, uh, but as anyone knows, when you're uh, recovering from a storm, it takes years. Some things you can fix relatively quick, Something takes years, but what we're able to do with this storm, at least in Canton and Haywood County, um, you know, we learned a lesson. You know, we were prepared uh, as best as we could be. Uh, we had a lot of businesses remove their inventory uh, to better spots. So I was very proud and continue to be proud of our town workers and our, our, our county staff. But when your local river crests at 28 feet, preparation only does so much. Uh, and so we have suffered again a apocalyptic. Um, destruction, uh, but we learned a lot of lessons and we'll learn a lot of lessons from this one. And this, this apocalyptic destruction, as you describe, has come from a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico. Have you ever experienced, a, you know, a disaster like this from a hurricane so far away? I mean, other than three years ago, it was a remnant of a tropical storm. And I think to your point, um, you know, it is really, you know, breathtaking that a mayor of a town, you know, relatively 3,000 feet above sea level, you know, hundreds and hundreds mm -hmm. of miles away from the coast in three years has suffered from uh, tropical storms that have led to damage. I mean, I think, it, you know, we realize now, sadly, that the western part of the state, a very mountainous region, uh, we are now in Hurricane Alley. In some regards, Canton has experienced more hurricanes and tropical storms in some of our coastal cities. So it shows you that uh, the world has changed. Uh, this is not normal. Uh, but again, we have to find a way to live in the world that is, not the world that we want. You mentioned your commitment to rebuild, given that perhaps this kind of extreme disaster might be something you know, of the new normal. How are authorities working with you to try and mitigate or at least you know, protect the town from, from these kinds of disasters in the future? Yeah, I mean, first off, right now, again, stabilization, looking for lives, helping you know, restore communication will make everything easier 
uh, is what we're dealing with now. That will give away to a conversation in the future. And I've, I've faced that question a lot, like, you know, this is your second storm. You know, what do you tell people? Well, the alternative is that we leave, uh, that we run away, that we abandon a place that we love, abandon a place that raised us. I mean, this is home, uh, and it's worth fighting for. It's worth continuing. But again, we have to do it in a way that acknowledges and protects. And so again, anything that helps with flood mitigation, uh, from technology to natural barriers, you know, if you faced, if, you know, three years ago, we were told this was a once in a lifetime storm. Um, storm. And here we are three years later. So now uh, we're not just, you know, uh, resting on the idea that this happens once in a generation. This seems to be the new normalcy. And so we're going to be looking at things entirely different. All right. Zeb Smathers, really appreciate your time. I hope those communication lines come up quickly.